going to be showing you how I do handmade wool felt sheets. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this is how I do it, so I'm going to show you this way. When we're all done, they're going to end up looking something like this, a lot flatter. First, what you need is a tray. This looks like a lunch room tray. I, I swear I didn't steal this from the ball. I don't know where we got this. Probably a flea market. This is just merino roving. Merino refers to the breed of the sheep. It's a soft wool. And we're using white on the bottom first before we put the colors on top because white is cheaper. And you're not going to see it if you're going to be cutting out your pieces of your wool felt for other things where you're not going to see the back. Now the trick is you want to make sure when you put this down that it's really, really fluffy. The fluffier the better because then the fibers will, will felt easier. And then you want to grip it with your hands in a way that you're not like really gripping it really hard, but you just want to like lightly pull off fluffs of wool. Make sure they're fluffy. You don't have to be super precise about this. You just kind of want to evenly coat the bottom. It's really also good to crisscross the fibers because the fibers of course go in one direction. If you crisscross them over one another instead of just laying them all in one direction, it'll help your felt be more strong. Okay, now we have a pretty even coating. I don't know, about an inch and a half thick. Creates a good backing. Now we're going to start adding color. This is merino wool as well. It has been dyed by an artist. I don't do wool dyeing myself, but I like to buy dyed wool on Etsy. You can also buy it elsewhere. When you buy wool that's dyed, it usually comes in about a four or three ounce amount. And it looks like this. And I've pulled off, I've pulled off a section of it because you're not going to need that much. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull off light fluffs. Make sure they're nice and puffy. Puffier the better. And you're just going to start laying it on there in whatever way you want to have the colors go. Nice and fluffy. Okay, that actually ended up being a perfect amount, which is good. And now we have our sheet with our colors on the top. These are very pastel. They'll look more vibrant after you felt them. This is very thick. That's how we want it, because it's going to shrink. Now you want to get your tap water as hot as it'll go. As hot as your tap water goes will probably be hot enough. The next part, you might want to use gloves to protect your hands from the really hot water. ready. Once your tap water is ready, you can take some soap. This is just standard old watered down Dawn. Watered down because you don't need it super concentrated. You just want it to be able to like flow on there good. So you're just going to put some soap on there. All over. That's good. When you felt, you want it as hot and soapy as possible. Hot and soapy makes your fiber stick and felt together. Evenly distribute the hot water. Now that you got your hot soapy water, you want to immediately start mushing it down. At first we're just going to pat because we don't want to ruin our nice arrangement of color. Just gently mash your hands. This is going to start felting the fibers slowly, but it's going to felt them. it starts to look more felted. If you feel like your water is getting too cool, we'll just add some more hot water. Nice and hot. You can start to be a little more vigorous with it. As you feel like it's turning into a sheet, pick it up to check. It's starting to go, but not quite yet enough to mushle it too much. i to turn this around as the bottom part's not tilted enough. be a little more vigorous with it. Be really a lot more vigorous with it now. Like you can pick it up and just kind of ball it around. Because by this point it's become a sheet and it will not felt into a ball anymore because it's felted into a sheet shape. You probably want to add some more hot water now. You can add more soap. Oop, it's 
just might splatter some soap everywhere. Now progress can be messy, we all know this. Just keep going. Alright, that's looking good. That's like kneading dough. By this point you could stop if you wanted to. If you want your sheet felt to be thicker you could keep going. If you keep felting it'll get thicker and thicker. When you think you're getting close to done, you can turn your water to cold. The cold water will shock, shock the fibers and make it shrink up a little. And that'll help hold it together even more. At this point, you can take off your lovely gloves. I know the gloves are fun, but you probably should feel to see if um, it feels good. See, now I'm done, so I'm rinsing it out with cold water to get all the soap out. You can see how much this shrank from what we started with. When you're all done, you can immediately iron it with a hot iron on the higher setting, and this will help make it a little bit smoother. This is also going to help dry it because it steams the wet out of the wall a bit. You can hear it sizzling. At least you might be able to hear sizzling over the sound of all the birds chirping. And there we have it, one wool felt sheet. You can cut up to do whatever you want. Before you use it, you want to hang this up to dry for at least a few hours, let all that wet evaporate out of it, and then you'll be all set. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the same.